my first stem cell transplant in a beautiful hospital in Guadalajara. Um, I was in for three and a half days. Uh, I've had type two, type one juvenile onset diabetes since I was 11. I'm now 62, almost 63. So I have high hopes of stabilization and oh my, could I say it? Perhaps a cure. You can only hope. Thus far, I've, I've had a significant increase in my insulin sensitivity. I was highly insulin resistant, so I would have to take large injections of short-acting insulin, anywhere from four units to nine units before I ate. Uh, frequently, in between meals, my sugars would spike 350, 400. Uh, about a month after the transplant, I noticed a couple things. One is I had more energy, and that was a great gift. No, no longer taking my afternoon naps. The other thing I noticed was my insulin requirements really reduced. I went from four to nine units down to two to three units. Uh, I kept having hypoglycemic reactions frequently, frighteningly. Things were definitely changing for the better, but I did not know how to handle it. So I contacted my diabetic educator and she's been working closely with me on regulating the reduced insulin requirements. I also went gluten-free and dairy-free to help reduce the inflammation in my system. And my hands, almost within two weeks after the transplant, went from looking like fat sausages to fairly normal. That was a radical change. I also have colitis related to long-term diabetes. I'm off all my medications. I still would say that I have colitis, but nothing like it was before. And I'm getting ready for my second transplant today in Tijuana, and I can't wait.